Hi, happy Friday everyone. It's Lauren with the Big Tamale and it's Friday so we are doing our happy news and we are at the Foster Gallery at the Market Shops at San Dustin and I want to thank a special thanks to our sponsor Dean Ladick with Keller Williams and Affinity Boutique for my adorable cute little outfit and my cute shoes. I love Teresa. Come check her out. Um, she is at the Market Shops in San Dustin. So we are here at the Foster Gallery and our first guest is Miss Kathleen Broderick and if you can't tell she's an artist. Hi Kathleen. Hi Lauren. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for coming today. So tell us what you're drawing. This is beautiful. Thank you. Um, this is a scene of, that I took um, a photo of in Auburn, Alabama and it was a beautiful sunlit field with the cows and that's what I'm really going for here in the painting is to capture that beautiful sunlit field. And it's, it's got a lot of work to go but and how long have you been working on this one? Uh, just yesterday morning. I started for a few hours. Just about three hours. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. That's like so quick. I, mine would never look anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could if you practice. You need to do some art classes next, maybe. I know. <laughs> That's what I've been told. So tell us a little bit about yourself. So um, or how long have you been in this area? I've been in the area 16 years. Um, my husband and I raised two boys here. And uh, while they were little, I taught art at their elementary schools as a volunteer. But, and then I went and got my certification to become a real art teacher and um, did that. And now and what I school were you doing art teacher at? I was at Edge Elementary in Niceville, and um, I loved I loved it. But yeah. I decided to dedicate myself to art full time now, and um, so that's what I do when I get up at five in the morning. You get up at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Is it because you're so inspired by your dreams? Well, I'm a morning person, and I really feel good getting a few hours of painting in every day, yeah. especially if then you can move to whatever else you have to do and feel like you've accomplished something. That's great. So that's how you get your fulfillment in life. Yes, definitely. Oh, that's be well, it's beautiful and you definitely inspire other people. It's gorgeous. How did you get into art? Uh, well, I had one class to take my last semester at FSU a very long time ago and I said I'm going to take a watercolor class. So I loved it so much I just continued to take classes for many, many years and until I can concentrate full time, which was only last year. So it's been a, a short time since I've been a professional. And you get inspired by nature? You were like an album, is that where you get? I do. I do. I take lots of pictures on my iPhone. I, I love painting um, uh, florals and, and seas seascapes and um, ro my roosters are very popular. They're very cute too. I want to get some pictures of your rooster. Can you hold one up maybe? Sure. Yeah, let's see your rooster. Yeah, so if there's... Okay, so yeah, so if you're on Facebook and you're watching us live and you have any questions about art or if they want to get involved with art and painting, I'm sure Kathleen would love to answer a question for you. I love your rooster. He's so pretty. How long, how long did he take? Um, probably about three hours as well. He's awesome. They're morning, morning work. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the Foster Gallery. Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, He's cute. I can't the hold Foster it. Gallery um, is new, relatively new to the area. Um, it opened in May, and there were 13 inaugural uh, artists who show their work here. You have to be a member of the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County who runs the gallery, and then they, um, they jury you in, so you have to apply every uh, three months to be in the gallery. Oh, so I was wow. lucky enough to be in the gallery in May. Did you win an award? Or? I, wa I won an award for... Um, the Maddie Kelly Arts yes. Festival, yes. That's coming up at the end of October, and it's my first um, time showing there, and I was lucky enough to be chosen to be the poster, uh, to have the poster art as well, nice. and t-shirts, and especially the t-shirts I'm excited to see. Cool. Everybody walking around with um, my fish on their t-shirt. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. And you do a lot for the community. You do a lot of donations and things like that, so tell us a little bit about your involvement in the community. Well, I, I'm really lucky that I, through my art I'm able to meet a lot of uh, uh, the people who do such good work in our area. Yeah. And um, I've been able to, like today is the For Her Golf yeah. outing. Yeah. We were there earlier. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so uh, somebody will win a lovely um, rooster print of mine at that. Um, I've donated um, a number of things to the Children's Advocacy Center. One um, print for their new to Funiac Springs location, yeah. and then one for their uh, wigging out event, which is coming up next. Are you going to go? We're going to be there. Are you? I yeah. think so. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, it does look like a lot of fun. They're also having a cornhole um, benefit. Yes. Yeah. 
So I'm going to be decorating to, uh, a set of cornhole boards um, for them to auction off. And I think I'm going to do some uh, to a pair of roosters. Cute. And that's, that's, so that's going to be at Dustin Commons. It's October 16th. They're having a cornhole event for the Emerald Coast Children's Advocacy Center. And I think you can contact Jelt. Chelsea. Who's Chelsea with the Emerald Coast Children's Advocacy Center if you're interested in, in, in joining up with that. Um, so let's see, where else did you want to talk? Okay, so what's com tell us about what's coming up for you. Well, I do have the Maddie Kelly Arts Festival at the end of October. It's October 29th and 30th. I'm I've got one month to prepare. I've been painting a lot and, and trying to do some bigger seascapes for it. I'll have prints for sale and um, cards as well. Um, I'm going to be also at the Coastal Branch Library in the months of uh, November and December. Is that the one on 331? Yes. Okay, okay. And I'll have originals and prints there. And then I'll be the featured artist at uh, Central 45 in Seaside in January. Wow, you're busy, Kathleen. Now, now I know why you get up at 5 o'clock in the morning to paint. I have to. <laughs> Well, that's very exciting. I love it. Well, thank you so much for coming. And I guess if people want to purchase your art, or how can they find you? Well, they could find me at um, on my website at www.kathleenbroderick.com or here at the Foster Gallery, or at the Maddie Kelly Arts Festival. And I did want to also mention that um, the Foster Gallery was uh, named after Susan Foster, who was an original arts um, supporter here in, Mor in Walton County. And uh, she... Um, she was a part of the original Arts Quest and um, the Cultural Arts Alliance, um, <laughs> one of their original members. Cool. So that's how it got its name. So it's been around for many years. A lot of history. A lot of history, yes. That's awesome. Well, thank you, Ms. Kathleen. I, your work is beautiful, thank very beautiful. You. Do you do commission art? Like if someone came to you and wanted something specific? I have. I've done some pets and um, those are really fun to do, um, but, but just, you know, once in a while. We need like a big tamale art. Yes, <laughs> you do need a big tamale art. <laughs> that shouldn't take you too long, I don't think. <laughs> three, hours. Yeah, three, hours, three hours. Well, thank you so much, Kathleen, for sharing with us, and congratulations on everything. And we look forward to seeing more of Kathleen out there. So hang on, guys. We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back with our happy news at the Foster Gallery with Lauren and the Big Tamale. See you in a few minutes. Thanks, guys.